Yeah, g'day everybody, my name's Timothy May, but um, you can just call me Tim. I'm here to introduce you to something that I've come up with to help with mental health and depression and bipolar and different mental health issues altogether. Uh, so I've come up with a, an idea and a program called Wobblies. Now, not everybody has a wobbly, but everybody gets the wobblies. Now, wobblies is something that starts off in the brain waves, so and it's called wobblies for a reason. With uh, mental health and depression issues and things like that, a wobbly in your brain sets out everything else in your body and sets sets your system off. It can't be controlled. It's nobody's fault, and it's just something that happens. It could be at any age. It could be any reason. Just things happen. Now, you're probably wondering, does this bloke know what he's talking about? Does he have any idea what he's talking about and what he's saying? Uh, actually, I can guarantee you 100% yes, I do. Why? Because I'm a 14-time attempted suicide survivor. Proud? No. Damaged? Yes. Last time was four weeks ago. Now, definitely not proud of it. Things happen, got on top of me, because the wobblies hit. Now, I come up with a strategy to help myself with that. And Wobblies is what I came up with, and this is what Wobblies is. Work on balancing beliefs, life, individuality, existence, survival. Work it on it one step at a time. Work through it. Believe in yourself. You get a wobbly inside your head, talk to somebody. Doesn't matter if it's a mate, family, friends, strangers. Somebody wants to listen to you, you have a chat. Okay? Worst part about it all is, I'm an ambassador for mental health for Beef It Up Australia. And I actually talk to people on nights out. I talk to people about mental health, depression and what it does. And as I said, my last attempt was actually two weeks before I had a birthday. I sent out a cry for help. I got that help. So I did. And because of that, I'm now on the road to recovery. And I'm doing this to help everybody else, friends, acquaintances, strangers, family. If it wasn't for family and mates, I wouldn't be here talking to people now and letting people know what's going on inside my head. It's very hard to understand it's very hard to explain, but the need to talk, to get it out there, is paramount. The hardest part is starting to talk. You've got to have that initial onset and belief in yourself that, one, I've got a problem, I've got the wobblies. Two, I need somebody to talk to that's going to understand and listen. Three, put it into action. And four, work on it. Work on the wobblies. Work on balancing beliefs, life, individuality, existence, survival. Survival is the main part. You don't survive. There's no more. Hardest part is understanding it inside yourself. People need 
communication. That is the key point. Communication. You need to communicate. You don't communicate, you're just going to waste away inside. Like me. And you're going to do, probably end up doing something stupid. Like I tried. Too many people out there try. Unfortunately, too many succeed. We want to stamp that out completely. Over the course of the next, I don't know, week or so, maybe longer, long time actually, I've been inviting people in, in communities and groups, and I'll go more in depth on different things like the window perspective, the engine room, things like that. And it will be good listening and watching. So hopefully we can get in there and get on. If you go to, I think it's uh, www.beefandupaustralia.org and book in for those ones. And as it goes, I'll let you know when they're going to be happening and things like that. So on top of that, as I said, the main thing is communication. Get out there. Even if you feel uncomfortable, you start the conversation I oh, made of. Not really doing too good inside my head at the moment, so and if you say, okay man, what's what's going on? What can I help you with? You know, things like that. Sit down over a coffee, a cordial, or a glass of water. You can even sit down with your mate and have a quiet beer. But still is the main thing is still is communication. And that's the hardest bit. As they say, the first step is the hardest. But when it comes to mental health and depression, and unfortunately suicide, the first cut is the deepest. We want to stop that. We want to get out there and want to help people. We want to help them survive, get stronger within themselves, believe in themselves completely. It's hard. It really is hard. There's lots of different things out there to help people. So, on the upside, I'm still here to talk to you, which is <laughs> bloody good. So I think it is anyway. A lot of people might not think so, but to me, to my kids, my family, my mates, people I haven't met yet, I'm still here. And I'll be here as long as I can be here for those people that are important to me and those that I haven't met yet. I've got a long way to go in life. So does everybody else on this planet. Go into that a little bit more later. But That's just how it is, I suppose. So yeah, just get out there. Well, so to speak. Communicate. Talk to a mate. Talk to a family member that understands. Too many people have got these problems, too many people are going through the same problems, and too many people are ending those problems permanently. Don't want to see that. I've lost mates. I know a lot of people that have lost mates, family members, farmers, communities. Let's get out there. And I'm going to give you something, I'm going to give you a free gift that you can all take with you. We are strong. We are survivors. And we will win. So get on, check out Wobblies. I'm Tim. Better to be safe than be sorry. Work on it. Cheers.